Hello everybody, this is Detective Daddy from Boston, Massachusetts, and we have another box of nickels. And this one here is mostly circulated. The reason why I say mostly circulated is these two rows here appear to be uncirculated, but we'll see when we get into them. When we go into course left to right, so we'll start off with these two and see what they are real quickly. Uh, I'm going to do a quick uh, album update. Let's be right back. Here is album four, and as you can see, it is pretty much complete, except for that pesky... 2021 Denver. Eventually we will get it. Album number three is complete. Just hoping to get a couple upgrades and this will be looking much better. Album number three is the uh, beginning of the Jefferson series. We only need 24 nickels in order to fill this, so not too bad. Let's look at the last one. And the fourth album, which is actually the Buffalo Nickels, which would be the first, only has three in it so far, but we have seen a lot of buffaloes lately. Let's see if we get some more in this box. Let's get on with the hunt. Okay, everybody, roll one was not uncirculated. Neither was roll two, as we have our first find, a 1950s nickel. Let's take a look. Nineteen fifty six, and it is a Philly. I already looked. We'll be back with the next. This is roll number three, and as you can see, most of these are definitely uncirculated, but there are some in there that are not, so let's take a look. Okay, buddy, we're on roll number four, and the giggling you hear in the background is my little one, Hi. Lillian. And we actually have a really good find on roll number four, but the first three rolls I thought might have been uncirculated have not been. And somebody is still giggling up a storm here. I don't know why. But let's take a look, see what we got. There it is. We have our like fifth or sixth buffalo of the year. Let's take a look, see what we have. Do we have a date? And we sure do. Okay. 1936. Philadelphia. We'll take it. Back with the next. Okay, everybody just finished up roll number seven, and we have another find. Let's take a look. Let's see if we can zoom in on this. Here we go. 1946. And flip it over. Da, da, da. Where, Look at where, where is it? There you go. And what do we have? Philadelphia. There you go. 1946 we'll, Philadelphia. We'll be back with the next. Everybody just finished up roll number eight, and we have another 40s find. Let's take a look. A 1941 Philadelphia. There it is. We'll be back with the next. Okay, everybody just finished up roll number nine, and what did we find? A 1959, and do we have a mint mark? Philadelphia, we'll take it. Back with the next. Okay, everybody just finished up roll number ten, and this box is starting to get exciting. Just had three more finds. Let's take a look. First one is a 1953, Denver. The second one, 1952, Philadelphia, and the last one, a 1939, do we have a mint mark yet? Philadelphia, that's okay, we'll take it, back with the next. Okay, roll number 12 is done, and we have another 40s find, let's take a look. 1948, do we have a mint mark? And we do, that is a Denver, I believe, let's take a look, hold on. I'm going to zoom in on this here, so you might be able to get a better look at that Denver mint mark. There we go, back with the next. Okay, everybody just finished up with roll number 20, and we have another 40s find. Here it is, a 1947. Philadelphia. Philadelphia, back with the next. Okay, everybody just finished up roll 21, and we have another 40s find. Let's take a look. It's a 1947, if it'll clear up. There we go, and let's see if we got a mint mark. Philadelphia. Phil there you go. Back with the next. Bye-bye. Okay, everybody just finished up roll 22. And we have another 50s find. Let's take a look. 1958. Do we have a mint mark? We do. 1958 Denver. Back with the next. Okay, everybody just finished up roll 26. And we have another 50s find. Let's take a look. 1952, and do we have a mint mark? 
Philadelphia. It sure is. That was quick. Back with the next. We just finished up roll 28. Let's take a look and see what we got. 1959. Okay. 1959, yep. You want to flip it over, see if we got a mint mark. Philadelphia. And, no, that's not a Philadelphia. Philadelphia. That's a Denver. A Denver. Denver. All right, Denver. good job. Denver. Back to the next. Denver. Okay, we just finished up roll 32, and look what we got. Let's get a good clue. 1952. 1952. Uh-huh. Philadelphia. There you go. Back with the next. Okay, but he just finished up roll 34, and we have another 50s find. Let's take a look. 1959 Denver. Where do you see the Denver? Denver, Denver. It's upside down. There you go. Denver. There you go. Good job. Back with the next. Okay, but he just finished up roll 36, and what do we have? A 1954, and it's a Denver. Back with the next. Everybody, roll 37. We have another 40s fine. Let's take a look. A 46, Philadelphia. All right, back with the next. Okay, everybody, just got done with roll 39, and we have another early 40s fine. Let's take a look. 1941, and do we have a mint mark? Philadelphia. Back with the next. Okay, but he just finished up roll 42, and we have another 40s find. 1948, Philadelphia. Back with the next. Okay, but I bring you in the middle of roll 43, because we have a couple of finds already. The first one is right here. I'm just going to bring you into this. It's 1940, Philadelphia. I was going to hold that one to the end like I've been doing, but then this just came out. Look at that. This is unbelievable. It's 1936 Buffalo Nickel in amazing condition. And it has a full horn on it. It's a Philadelphia, but in great, great condition. I don't think I have one in my collection this good. Wow. We'll be back with the next. Okay, roll 43 is done, and we have one more find. Let's take a look. And here we go, 54. And that's a Denver. Back with the next. Okay, everybody, this box is done. I'll be right back with the wrap-up. Okay, everybody, here is the wrap-up. It may not look like much, but the box, actually, I would say it was predominantly 2021 Philadelphia is at least 75%. So the fact that we got these three over here is really shocking. There's 236 Buffaloes. One is in just an absolute amazing condition. Look at the details on that. Absolutely love it. Cannot believe it. Can have to check my own collection on that to see if it upgrades it. Plus, we got a 39 Philadelphia. Then we got a 40, a couple 41s, two 46s, two 47s, a 48 Philly in Denver. Then moving over into the third column there, we have a 1952. Uh, there's three of those. Then below that is a 53 Denver, followed by two 54 Denvers, a 56, a 58 Denver, a 59 Philly in Denver down there. Over here, we did get two 2009s, which is also amazing in such a box. Uh, 2009 Philly in Denver. And then over there, I got a 68 right over here uh, and 69 San Francisco's. That is it. We're going to get these, see what uh, goes into the binder, and we'll be back. Okay, everybody, this is the uh, only book that got anything addition or upgrades into it, and it is the Buffalo book. Uh, and it is the 1936, and I put the lesser of the two in there as I still want to find out if the other one is going to update, upgrade my own collection, and if it doesn't, I'll put that one in here or vice versa. Well, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Until next time, happy hunting.